22 and 23. <laughs> I got to go to my grandpa, my grandpa's message. Shh. God made it possible for us, not after physical, but after physical and death, but now in our body right now to live a supernatural Holy Ghost life. <laughs> See, the devil stole supernatural from God's people. And so God people started tripping. Oh, you can't use that word supernatural. But when you look it up, it's God's super on your natural. I'm high in the Holy Ghost, boy. It's so delicious. You better smile a little bit. Get happy. But look at look, look what it says. Look at, Mark 22. And Jesus answering. Because you see, what had happened was these folks then saw, somebody saw that there was no fig on that fig tree. And then they got they, they went the next morning and they saw that the, the, the fig tree was dried up at the root. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> right. And he said, What's up with that? He goes, Come on, come on, look, 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 look. Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. But you see, see, what what happened there is that most people took it from the way the writers wrote it, but you have to go back into the Greek. The Greek says, have the faith of God. In other words, you have the faith of God. You're not going to have a shot. You're not going to have it. You already have it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's revelation, man. Right now you should be jumping, throwing sneakers at each other, throwing boots or something. But you see, when you're living from the low calling, you can sit up on it. Excuse me, Frank. Don't hurt me now, Frank. <laughs> Last time I picked up Frank, my arm was sore for a week. But, but, but this brother made a lead. This, this. Girl, how you handle all of this? You ain't playing. But, but, have faith. You see, you got to have faith in God. You can't play this thing. You have the faith of God. What, the stuff you wrote? That wasn't you. That was him through you. Because you have the faith of God. So do you. So does every born again from above child of God. But because we're so accustomed to living from the, the low cost, we're fronting it. It's the truth. It's the truth. Look at Ben. And Carlos are both witnesses. We go to a meeting yesterday. Everybody getting laid out. Pure Holy Ghost power just sweeping through the place. Now, now, I know it's not me, but I know what I carry. I ain't tripping. But you see, when you're familiar with it, just like if your wife was a world-class chef and she's on, on the Food Channel and she, co she cooks home, she does something so revelatory and, exp and, and so explosive, and there's the boy just... Bleh. How was it? It was good. We were like, what? Are you crazy? Good. But when you take it to the other arena, folks can't get enough of it. I'm waiting in line. I'm waiting for two days. I'm going to camp out in front of that stuff to get that word. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Don't be familiar with what you're sitting under. I'm closing, and I, and I, and I wanted to go further, but I have to. So, 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 look, you have the faith of God. Now, the next verse says, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say. But he's talking, Jesus is talking to the believer born from above, the sons and daughters, his brothers and sisters, whose you are. Stop tripping. If you have to go someplace, the door's there, there's an exit there, there's one there, there's one there. You can leave. I'm fine with it. Because you need this word. I'm closing in a minute, but how oh my God, don't hurry. No me no me hurry. That's that's that same church mentality. If you preach over 45 minutes, the people don't have. That's the devil's lie from the pit of hell. I've sat on the Brother Copeland for three hours and couldn't get enough and still pulling on that thing. 
Come on, we can go and watch a movie two and a half, three hours, eating popcorn. Don't, we we got to go and we got to relieve ourselves, but we're sitting there on the chair going, oh, no, I can't miss that part. You know it's true. John Wick, I'm sitting there with legs crossed. Oh, no, he's going to kill that brother. I got to see that fight. Then I can hardly walk to the bathroom. I'm like, I'm going to pee on myself. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Because the flesh is getting you fed. But spiritually, we can't even handle serious deal. See, I'm getting too radical for y'all. That's all right. That's fine. There's a people that want it, and I'm going to give it. Listen, listen. For verily I say unto you there, whoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has said, which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Now, I got to go back for one second. The word have means to hold, maintain as a possession. Have the faith of God. Have. Possession. Privilege. Entitlement. That's what the word have means. We have the God kind of faith in us. That's high calling. We have not because we ask not. And when we ask, we ask amiss. I know it's uncomfortable. But I tell you, when you're uncomfortable, it's the best time to receive. We have such a low tolerance to confrontation in the spirit. And because we have low tolerance of true confrontation in the spirit, Jezebel still rules over your life and you don't really recognize it. Because if he has control, you're still going to be sick. You're still going to be broke. You're still going to deal with the same nonsense you've been dealing for 20 years in your life and go, I don't know. I, I don't even know if this word really works. I'm, I'm just not sure. You know, I'm trying. And God said, I never told you to try. I told you to operate from, not try to get to. I already gave it. If you have it, you just use it. And I know it's kind of raw. It might be sweet if it had, you know, cream pie and whipped cream on it. But this message is not that kind. I remember sitting under some of the people that spoke into my life, man. They, they said, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. You going to sit up in here? Yeah. I'm going to cut you. And you're going to bleed. But then after a while, I'll put a little ointment on you and you're going to get healed. But if you can't sit under this, you're not really ready to go. If a word does not make you reflect and, and, and say to God, God, there's something really, I know it's me because it's not you and you're abiding in me. Lord, you got to say like, like David said, create in me a new heart, a clean heart, a pure heart. Lord, I want you more than I want anything else. If I can't live the way you want me, I can't live. And you know what God says at that point? That's what I was waiting for. Because then you start living in me. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to close this session this morning from that perspective. But I want you to really ask yourself. I want to go deeper. If you do, that's where I'm going. We got to go. We, we can't stay here anymore. No longer. It's just too much that God has already in store for you, for you, for you, for you, for me, for us. And the only thing that has been in the way has been us hindered for the lack of biblical 
Holy Spirit awaits. You're the healed of the Lord. You're healed. You were healed before you got sick. Can we all stand together?